Hello everyone, this is Jack. In this video, I'll cover seven tips to grow lots of strawberries. After going through this video, you'll be able to grow strawberries with no issues at all. I have four rows of strawberries growing here and each row is 150 feet long and each row contains 300 strawberry plants. So I have 1200 strawberries growing in this patch. All of these strawberries are producing really well and we are getting a bumper crop every single day. So let's get started with those tips. Tip number one, the variety of strawberry. You have to find out, you have to do your research to see which variety of strawberry suits well with your zone and whether you want to plant determinate variety of strawberries such as June bearing strawberry or ever bearing strawberries. The strawberries I'm growing here are called Seascape. They are ever bearing strawberries. So they produce all the way from April till September. So they keep producing a little bit of strawberries every single day as opposed to June bearing strawberries that put up all of their crop in just one month. You can buy bare root strawberries and plant the bare root strawberries at the end of winter or beginning of spring. Or you can buy potted strawberries which you can plant any time of the year. However, if you plant your strawberries earlier, they will produce a lot more crop rather than if you were to plant them a little bit later into the spring. So always plant your strawberries early, right at the end of the winter. Look at these strawberries. Look at this big one. Oh, wow. Really nice strawberries. So I use these barrel containers to pick strawberries and go in between the rows. And then I use this flat to put all my strawberries in, in here so it's easier to carry. Tip number two, ground preparation. Now you might have heard that strawberries need a lot of fertilizer, which is not entirely true. Strawberries do need fertilizer, but if you hit them with a lot of nitrogen in the early time of the year and into the early spring, they will produce a lot more foliage and not enough strawberries. So, especially with ever bearing strawberries, you want to use a slow release fertilizer. I use a slow release pellet chicken manure or I use just compost, just regular compost or horse manure or cow manure. I add it into the soil, incorporate it into the soil and that breaks down over time and produces really rich organic soil. This provides constant nutrients for your strawberry plants. So your strawberry plants keep producing strawberries. Now here's another tip. You want to incorporate all that fertilizer into the ground before planting strawberries because after you plant strawberries, it's really hard to apply any sort of fertilizer. And I'll tell you why. The reason is that you have to heavily mulch the strawberries. The roots of strawberry plants don't like to dry out and they do not like sitting in wet soil either. So plant strawberries on mounds and you have to have correct spacing of strawberry plants to ensure that they have enough room to grow and then they also block out any of the sunlight hitting the roots or the soil. Here's a quick strategy on planting strawberries. You can see I'm planting two rows of strawberries on each berm. Each one of these strawberry plants are one feet apart and you can see the triangle in these strawberries as well. So. The second row of strawberries is at the six inch interval from the first row, so they make perfect triangles. So this is how I planted 300 strawberry plants in a row that's 150 feet long. I planted double rows and I run double drips on each one of the rows. Now let's move on to mulching, which is tip number four. And it is very important to mulch strawberry plants. Now in commercial settings, they use a very thin black plastic on top of the berms and they punch holes in the plastic and plant strawberries that way. That black plastic is called black mulch. Now, I couldn't get my hands on it. Secondly, I didn't want to use very thin plastic in my garden because, you know, if it breaks down, I'm going to have plastic everywhere. So I planted my strawberries first and then I mulched them with wood chips. Now in between the rows, I put down very thick weed block fabric and somebody from YouTube sent me this weed block fabric, which works great. So thank you for sending me this weed block fabric and I can put it to really good use. So after mulching the strawberry plants, the soil retains moisture and the roots don't dry out and the roots don't get overheated either. So the plants are cool and they produce a lot of strawberries that way. If the soil dries out or the roots get hot, the strawberry plants will quit producing flowers and quit producing strawberries. So always mulch your strawberry plants. Earlier I didn't mulch my strawberries and when it got a little hot, the strawberry plants stopped producing flowers and they quit producing strawberries. And that's when I added a lot of wood mulch into the strawberry plants to keep the roots moist and keep the roots cool. And now the weather has cooled down a little bit too. And I have mulched these strawberry plants are producing a lot of strawberries. 
Here's some really nice strawberries. And here's the weed that goes away. Check for any signs of damage. And they all look good. Well, the first basket is full. Tip number five, watering. Now, as I mentioned earlier, strawberry plants like moist soil, but they don't like wet soil. So that's why we planted them on berms, which is already good. Now, the watering schedule should be so that the soil is moist all the time. So if you have clay soil like I do, I water strawberry plants every single day in the morning. Now, if you have sandy soil, you might need to water you know, twice a day because you will have much more drainage in your soil. So you can water in the morning and then again in the evening as well. Just make sure the soil is moist at all times and the soil does not dry out. Well, look at the size of this one. That's a nice strawberry. And there's another one hiding behind, a little smaller. But these are really good eating. Tip number six, pest control. Now, strawberry plants get infected by these little worms. The flying insects, you know, they produce eggs on strawberry plants which hatch and turn into larva. And they are little green worms that attack strawberry plants and they make holes in the strawberry plants as well. So to combat these pests, you can use, you know, the BT spray or the Spinosad spray. I made a separate video on how to tackle cabbage worms and worms that attack plants, which is the same strategy you would use on strawberry plants as well. Just mix one tablespoon of uh, Spinosad spray to one gallon of water and spray your strawberry plants at least once a week if you have the, you know, very severe problem. If you want to be proactive, do it once a month and your strawberry plants will not be affected by those cabbage worms or those little green worms. Two more really nice strawberries. The way to pick strawberries is to actually cut it right above the stem. So you get a little bit of the stem with it. Now you can see these are the holes that I'm talking about. So the bugs and the worms, they create these holes in the strawberries and the strawberries are just rendered useless. So that is why you need to spray that organic uh, bio agent, the Spinosad spray to get rid of the worms. So these are the holes that these little worms create. You can see a hole right there. I don't know if it's uh, pretty obvious to you, but there's a hole right there. And this strawberry has one too. It's right there. So these strawberries are not good for eating anymore. So you really have to stay on top of best management as well. Lots of little strawberries that are forming. This one is not ready yet. It's not ready to pick. Lots of new ones and this is a prize. Look at the size of this one. Tip number seven, which is the best tip of all, and is picking strawberries. So once your strawberry plants start producing strawberries, you need to go into your garden and start picking strawberries every single day. Because if you don't and you let the strawberries ripen on the plant, the plant will think it's fulfilled the purpose of its life, its job is done, it has produced seeds, and it will stop producing flowers and it will stop producing strawberries. So you need to be picking strawberries every single day and then it will make the plant think that it's not being able to produce seed for the next generation. So it will put out more flowers and more strawberries. I talked about this when I made a video on seven gardening mistakes to avoid and also how to increase your harvest from your garden 10 times from the same garden. So check those two videos out if you're interested as well. Well, look at these strawberries, very red. So once they're really red, that means that they're ripe. And this is just about becoming ripe. If it were any lighter red, then that means it's not ready to pick yet. Another bonus tip, while you're picking strawberries, you might see a lot of runners as well. So you want to remove these runners. This will focus all of plants energy into this single mother plants. If you let the runners develop more plants, the energy from the plant is going to get distributed. But 
we also have a lot of mulch around these plants so we are not set up actually i am not i'm not set up to have more strawberry plants from this mother plant so i'm going to keep this mother plant and pinch off all the runners now if you have a setup where you have a very wide row spacing you might want to let these runners out and produce a more, lot more baby plants which will produce a lot more strawberries as well which is a very good strategy when you have uh, uh, a strawberry that's June bearing or very determined variety of strawberries. So it depends on your strategy. I am always removing the runners so all the energy goes into the mother plant to bring out more strawberries and produce a lot more strawberries. The way to tell if the strawberry is ripe is that it's red all the way around like this one. So let me snap this off. Now this is a really ripe strawberry. Now you don't want to pick strawberries like this. This is white all the way around. But let me show you the one that looks ripe but it's not. Look at this strawberry. It looks red but look at the other side. It's all white. So this is not ripe yet. Give it another day or two and this will be ready for picking. When picking strawberries don't go on the size. Just go with the color. So this one even though it's small it's ripe and it's ready. Well look at this. This is ready too. And there are quite a few down there too. Almost, actually more than four, not almost four. Well, check out all of these strawberries. These strawberries are really nice. There are quite a few really big ones in there as well. And there are a few small ones too, but they all taste absolutely delicious. There are about 15 pounds of strawberries here. And we are picking about 10 to 15 pounds every single day. And if you let your strawberries ripen just a little bit on the plant, they taste really sweet. They taste more sweet than any store-bought strawberry you've ever tried. So I highly recommend planting just a few strawberry plants in your garden. Just plant about 10 to 15 plants. You can plant them in raised beds as well and just enjoy fresh, beautiful, delicious, sweet strawberries all summer long. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in another video.